Hi, I'm JD, and today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to check or verify your solutions using your graphing calculator, uh, mainly a TI-84+, plus, uh, but a TI-83 can just be used the same way. There's a lot of the same functions, the buttons might be in slightly different places. So anyways, I worked out a problem that's a rational equation and I got these as solutions. I got negative seven fifths and also one. And I want to check to see if they are solutions for this equation. So to check, all you have to do is, what you want to do first is basically put a solution for x. So to do that, now, when you're typing in negative, like negative 7 fifths, you want to push the negative button, don't push the minus button. So, negative and 7 divided by 5. And I'm going to use the store button, which is right here. What the store button does is it, it stores it, and then you push the variable button. And so, it stores it as that variable, which is x. Now to check to see if it's, see if negative 7 fifths is a solution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the left side and then I'm going to type in the right side separately. Now when I type in fractions like this, I want to put parentheses when necessary around the denominator or the numerator. Here it's just one term so I don't have to worry about that um, that much. Uh, same thing over here. I'm going to put parentheses when I type in the denominator. So I do each side separately. So 4 divided by parentheses. Then I just use my variable button, which is right here. x squared minus 1, close parentheses, minus 3. All right, so you get something funny like that. And just then just type in the other side. So 2 and then x divided by parentheses x minus 1 close the parentheses. Now notice what happens on my calculator. I get 1.16666666 whatever and I get the same thing on the left side as the right side. What that tells me is this is a solution. Now let me check the one. Just by observation, I know it's not going to work uh, because the factors for this is x minus one and x plus one. So when I plug in a one into this fraction, I get zero in the denominator. And you don't want that for a rational expression because that's where it's undefined. But, you know, just for sake of practice, let's type down the calculator. So I have my 1, and I'm going to store that as x. Now, what happens is what I can do, it's going to replace every x with 1. So what I can do is simply just copy and paste. To do that, just use the arrows, highlight what you want, and then push enter. Look at that. It's right where you want. Divide by zero. Undefined. And the same thing is going to happen on the other side because this one minus, or yeah, it's going to be one minus zero in the denominator, which is, sorry, one minus one, which is zero. And so when you divide by zero, again, it's going to show up as an error. So positive one is not a solution. So your only solution for this problem is x equals negative seven fifths. And that's it.